Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Hot Pocket King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. This right here is my thoughts, my impressions, my review of the leaked NBA Live 13 gameplay. One thing that I will say is they said that this build was almost two months old, and I can't believe it. They had all the teams, they had all the player matchups, all the stats, they had presentation, they had the ESPN people already done, already integrated into the game. So I can't believe that this build is two months old. I can't believe that the players will look any different in this mode. I can't believe that the pass will be any different than it already is. I can't believe that the post moves will be any different than they already are. So with that being said, my channel is still alive, y'all. I did not receive a strike. I am a partner with Machinima. That means that I'm able to upload gameplay to my channel. So they're handling all of that right now. I have not gotten any hate emails from EA telling me my channel ceased to exist. So we good mugger. But I will not be uploading the gameplay anymore until the actual game comes out in comparison. So with that being said, this video is solely for me to reenact what I saw in the gameplay so you guys can get a great understanding of what went down so this video will be about 12 to 13 minutes this will be my reactions even though it won't be no gameplay let's get into it first things first EA Sports pops on the screen you know it's all in the game now they come up you know the Adobe Digital the licensing all the teams now with the teams they all have glowing emblems around all of them then it goes to the start screen all you do is press start you load it up you know this this gameplay was for xbox so you have to click on the hard drive that you want to use then they start loading up the servers everything goes in then what it has is test management xbox live dynasty and play now on the play now screen is like quick game in 2k now what we're going to do is they're going to choose the two teams now what they got on the team select page is road and home not home in a way they have road and home then they have both teams. They were able to select any different team. Also, they had the Brooklyn Nets inside the team select. The two teams that they chose were the Heat and OKC. The Heat are on the road. OKC is at home. Now, they got something called the pregame hub with the tip-offs, starting lineups, and all of that. Now, as the game loads, and I'm going to let you guys remember this. It takes a long time for the game to load up. And during that screen, they have player matchups, they have centers, power forwards, small forwards, shooting guards, but they did not make it to the point guard screen, which means you can see LeBron 97 overall, Durant 94 overall, with their on ball, their three point shot, their mid range shot, as well as something called the NBA showcase. I'm guessing that that's the beginning, the pregame show of how it all starts. Now, they started from the Raptors, which means they come in on the whole court, all the fans. The presentation looks good. The beginning of the game looks good. They got a layup line, literally. They got a layup line in the beginning of the game with both the teams doing what they do. They got a close-up of LeBron doing a hop-step layup and then, you know, going over to the other side of the layup line. And then they go to the starting lineups, whereas though Chambers is standing there in his full jersey looking good. But what I'm going to say is the players don't look good. They look exactly like the screenshots from months ago, which means nothing is really upgraded. The players look very slender. The jerseys don't look real animated. Also, let me get into the dribbling. The dribbling looks horrendous. None of the players have actual dribble moves. All they're doing is going between their legs and crossing over their body. They're not doing any specific set of moves to actually get away from the defender. Now, next up in dribbling. Remember the bump animation from NBA 2K12? That's in NBA Live. Yes, in NBA Live 13, the bump animation from NBA 2K12 is in this game. I don't care if they say this build is two months old. I saw the bump, and the person that had the ball in their hand had no choice to do anything like they can in NBA 2K13. Also, as KD comes down the court, yes, I said KD. KD is bringing down the ball on every inbound possession. Westbrook is the point guard, but KD brings the ball down every single time. Also, 
There is no boxing out in this game. No boxing out whatsoever, which means everyone jumps for the ball. It seems like eight out of the ten players jump for the ball because it's only two players on the on the uh, on the court that shoot the ball and defend, and they're nowhere near the ball. But everybody else jumps. Also, let's talk about the post move. Let's talk about the post engaging button. For some reason, you can engage the button from wherever on the court. But I saw LeBron James post up D Wade. Does that make any sense to you guys? What I saw was I saw LeBron try to post up. Nobody touched each other's bodies. Nobody got close to each other. There was no real post engagement. And LeBron ended up posting up D-Way. And D-Way actually hit an animation where it's like, yo, why are you posting me up? I'm on your team. That's literally what I saw. Also, you got the guy playing with the heat, which means the computer or the thunder. Now, you would think that, of course, the computer would have a better AI. Now, what I see from the computer is no type of AI, no type of ball movement, no running plays, no nothing. It seems like when Kevin Durant brings the ball down, either he's going to shoot the ball or he's going to pass it to somebody and they automatically shoot. There's no real distinctive playmaking in this game, which means the computer AI for offense and defense must be ass. I'm just saying that. Also, every time that the Thunder get a rebound, they pass it to Kevin Durant. Not even on inbound plays now. It's all the time. Kevin Durant has to have the ball in his hands all game long, which means any other Thunder have no choice in the matter when it comes down to offense. Everybody just needs to stand around and watch KD play ball. Now, the guy that's playing with the Heat, he's trying to show off the passing in different animations and the passing looks horrible all they're doing is throwing a ball and the ball looks like it's being carried in midair over to the next player it's no directional it, it doesn't look like real physics it just looks like the ball is just literally floating in midair until it reaches that defender also one thing i noticed lebron hit a jab step in the corner and then tried to drive out to the three-point line and he stepped out of bounds that's one big flaw in gameplay wise when it comes to a defender being in the corner, jab stepping, and then just trying to go outside. Not trying to go inside, but literally outside and foot plants out of bounds. Also, when you get fouled, when they call a timeout, when all of this happens, nothing pop up, pops up on screen. So you really won't know what will be going on at that moment until the screen changes and flips to a presentation, which means if you get fouled, and you just looking at everybody and the play stops and the ball just rolls off into the sunset. You won't know what's going on until either that person goes to the line or the other team is taking out the ball, such as for a turnover or something like that. Or when the timeout screen and the subs pop up. That's the only time you'll know what's going on during the dead ball. Now, looking at the gameplay, I'm, I'm literally watching the gameplay. Um, it was a full 12-minute quarter. Just one quarter. Also, we're at the four minute mark. So everything that I've been saying has been up until now. Now also, when bringing the ball down, Mario Chambers does stop and try to wait for the ball, but the computer and the person that's playing the game doesn't even follow actual basketball, which means they're not trying to get it into the point guard's um, hands. Also, I seen LeBron have his back to the basket for more than five seconds, which means I don't know if that call is actually going to be in this game uh, because he really had his back to the basket for like a half an hour. Also, with facial features, I saw that James Harden does not have his full beard and mohawk, but in NBA 2K13, I feared the beard. So in NBA Live 13, the facial features are horrendous. They don't look like themselves. They look anorexic. To tell you the truth, this build was made for Xbox 360, but it looks like PS, um, PSP, and it plays like Atari. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it real with you guys. Also, somebody got fouled by LeBron, which was the computer, and they start pulling off spin moves, hesitations, and step backs after the foul. No dead ball. This person, the computer literally start going into an animation where they were doing spin moves and stuff after the foul. I don't know what's going on with this gameplay. It's it's looking very, very bad. I, I hope you guys understand that NBA Live 13 will have no type of comparison to 2K13. 
I'm so sorry live, man, but you guys just need to scrap this whole project. I know you guys got ESPN. Oh, also, and, and during presentation, the commentators all game are on point. I will I won't take that away from uh EA. The ESPN part of this game and presentation is is sounding good, looking good and, and feeling good. But all the gameplay, everything, the bumping and all of that, it just it looks like a horrible version of Live 96 plus NBA 2K12. I'm serious. Bumping animations, players not doing what you want them to do, players just standing around waiting for things to happen. It's looking really, really bad. Also, we got a minute left in the gameplay that I'm watching, and I can tell you right now, um, Westbrook, Durant, and Harden don't look like they are on the same team. I'm, I'm keeping it decent. This is what the computer is doing, actually. Literally, like, Abaka is getting the ball more than Kevin Durant is. And every time that Durant gets the ball, he pulls up. Which means this player has no type of incentive to pass the ball at all. Also, I saw the dunk from Wade from one side of the court to the other. And James Harden looks like he got elbowed in the back of his head while playing defense. Because D-Wade went straight through the defense and went for an up and under dunk and hung in the air for a very long time. Also, on a fast break, speed, it doesn't matter in this game. Everybody is just as fast as everybody else. Everybody gets down the court at the same exact time, which means you won't really have that many fast break chances to do anything on offense. Also, during backcourt situations, which means if you get a backcourt violation and you're playing against a computer, the computer chucks up the ball after backcourt is called. Instead of throwing a ball out of the backcourt, he just sits there and waits and then chucks it up. Now, we're in the last 20 seconds of the gameplay that I'm watching. I'm sorry that I couldn't upload the gameplay anymore. I really don't want to get a strike on my channel, so I said I'm going to chill. I'm going to fall back. But what I will say to all you NBA Live fans, I'm sorry for y'all. Um, it's time to get converted. I know you guys have been playing 2K for the last few years. I'm going to need y'all to stick with that because NBA Live currently... They have nothing, and I mean nothing on NBA 2K13. So please, if you want to see the gameplay, I don't know how you're going to see it. I will be uploading the gameplay to my channel when they say this game is supposedly supposed to drop. But until then, guys, I'm going to holla at y'all. This is IKC signing out. Peace.